Hi guys, it's JT Foley and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. This is an incredible debut single that you just dropped. And I feel like one of the scariest things to do is kind of figuring out what that first single is going to be like, knowing that, you know, there may or may not be a big audience in front of it. Right. That's so right. Scaredy Cat is your debut. So what was that process of kind of fi- like figuring out which song was going to be that official debut for you? Yeah. So I kind of, um, I'd always wanted to do like an artist project as well as write for other people. Um, but I wasn't exactly sure when that was going to happen. Um, and then I was just kind of writing a little bit for funsies to see what would happen, um, for like my artist stuff. And, um, I ended up just writing a bunch of songs that felt so personal that I just didn't want to give away. Um, and so scaredy cat was like, one of the first of that bunch that I really wrote and I was like oh crap like I should I should release this stuff um so it always felt right that Scary Cat would be the first one just because it um it was just kind of a good introduction to who I was as as an artist and it showed kind of all all of my sides of you know being emotional but also the fun um energetic side as well um so yeah it always kind of felt right and um and it was it was always like an easy decision. You know, as far as like that writing process, because you get really vulnerable on this first track, like mm-hmm. you open up to your audience uh, in a way that I feel like with other artists, it's either they go hard and like tell us everything in, in the first song or they kind of sprinkle it throughout the singles that they start releasing. Um, what was that process like for you? Like, did you come into that writing session and like already know, like, this is what I'm going to be writing about. This is how I feel. Or is it something that kind of just like revealed itself as you started just like listening to whatever was coming out? Yeah, I um, I'm such like a concept title person. So I always just have like a running list of things that are cool. And I was just going through um, I would like had just entered like my first real relationship and I was like terrified and. Um, one of the co-writers is like actually really good friends with him. So like we were just like happening to be talking about it. And um, I I had this, this, uh, the chorus of it um, that I brought in and I was like, this feels so um, much like what I'm going through. Um, And it honestly ended up, I think we took like two hours and wrote the song. Like it was so easy because we were all friends and we knew about the situation and like, it was literally just me saying all the things I'm scared of. And I'm like, ah, um, but yeah, I, it, I already kind of had the idea coming in, but it really helped that I was like with friends who knew about the situation. Um, yeah. What was that writing process between you and Gabby? Um, because I feel like anyone that writes in Nashville or from Nashville is just like a lyrical genius regardless. Like, you know. <laughs> So, you know, what, what is, what was that process like? And like, now that you are from now, you are in Nashville, you've experienced this, these sessions in Nashville. So what was that like? Yeah, it was, um, Andrew is amazing. Like he, um, he's, he just like always has these cool guitar things that he just does. And we're like, that is the song. Um, And so I kind of came in with the idea and a little bit of the, the, the chorus and Gabby is just this like lyrical wizard who like, I just, I was like, okay, like I, I have this like concept and like, here's what's going on in my life. And she just started going ham on the computer, just like typing all of these things. Um, And so for, for me and Gabby, it's always kind of like a, a good back and forth thing where it's just kind of like word vomit all over our little Google doc. And then just kind of, trying to piece it together um but yeah it was really it was really cool because it was like I was so much in that situation at the time that I was like like honestly after I left I, I felt so much better because I felt like I was just getting everything I felt inside out um so yeah for with 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 me and Gabby it's always just like honestly chaos we just <laughs> we we just like go back and forth and then somewhere in that madness we write a song so how would you say your experience in Nashville has helped you 
develop your songwriting, but at the same time, kind of like figuring out who you are as an artist and what type of music you'd be writing about. Yeah, I think like when I first came to Nashville, I, I mean, I came over for college and I really had no idea who I was. And I think Nashville was such a great place for like letting me find myself and like naturally figure out what my sound was and what I wanted to write about. Um, and I think because Nashville is such like a lyric heavy place, I really got to like hone in just like great lyricism and um, just, be, I mean, yeah, being surrounded by people who are so good at it was like, it was a game changer for me. It was like, I, I had to get better at like writing lyrics. And I think now that's become like my strength as a writer. Um, and I contribute that all to Nashville because everyone is crazy talented around here. So you just kind of have to. <laughs> now, when you jumped into the studio to, the, to record your vocals uh, with Andrew, mm. how did he help you kind of learn your sound and kind of learn to navigate throughout the song as far as like uh, uh, vocally and you know as far as like the dynamics that you kind of give us yeah I think we wanted um and we like have this conversation of like we it's still like a, a very vulnerable song but it's also like a bit of like I'm like kind of making fun of myself a little bit in like the chorus of just calling myself a scaredy cat like um so I think we, um, yeah, we we took like a good couple hours, and um, we really wanted to make sure like the the verses because the the verses were where I felt like it was most vulnerable and like in tune with like what was going on in the situation. Um, I wanted to really show that in my in my voice, so I feel like um, it was just about doing takes that felt like. Um, that felt like I was going through what I was going through in that situation, if that makes sense. Um, Cause when I recorded vocals, it was actually about like a year, a year and a half later. So um, I, I honestly was way past that situation, but I, I was trying to remember exactly how I felt. Um, and honestly it was pretty easy because, <laughs> cause it was, um, I don't know. It was like a, a big situation for me that I was like, oh, I remember how I felt. So um, yeah, so it was just about kind of remembering that emotion and channeling that into the song. That's insane, a year later. Yeah. <laughs> totally, it was like, I was so <laughs> past the situation that I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta remember where I was and I'm just such an emotional mess. So I was like, I can go back a little bit. <laughs> Well, I guess in the meantime, that song is like passing the test of time, like that, that, that timeless kind of feeling, just because totally. like you're able to still feel as strong about that being your debut. Absolutely. Yeah. I think um, that's honestly what probably solidified it as like the first song. Cause it was, um, well, one, again, it was like one of the first songs that I felt like was me, but also it, even after like months and months where I usually get sick of a song and I'm just like, eh, I have better things that I'm writing now. Um, that was one that I always felt was super strong and that I like really loved it. Um, so yeah, I think there's something so important about a song like standing that test of time where you still love it even when you're out of that situation. That should be your test. Like I'll write it today and I'll, totally. I'll like, record it in like a year. <laughs> well, yeah, it's funny because now I'm like writing songs and I'm like, like I'm, I want to release the song that I wrote yesterday where it's like I um I'm not used to that feeling because I was so like okay like let's see how it how it kind of like stands um across time but I I don't know I feel like I'm kind of past that and I'm like let's release this one <laughs> well anything you do just do not and like I say it in in all caps and bold letters do not tease a song on TikTok unless you're ready to release it. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. I will not. Yeah, I know a lot of people do that. And I, I don't know how they do it because I would want to release it tomorrow if like oh, know, right. So I I I will not. I, I probably can say that because I probably will eventually, but <laughs> but I'll try not to. Uh, so well, lastly, to close us off, like, what would you say was your biggest challenge uh, in order to like either create or finalize this single? Yeah, I think I um, releasing a single is like a, a lot. It was like I had to get everything ready. And um, honestly, I think 
I think the biggest thing was like, I am still trying to figure out kind of like my team and, and who's, um, kind of who's, uh, you know, doing like the, the art for it and, um, production and stuff like that. And it was, um, it was like a learning curve. I think I had to, um, it took like a while to get where I like wanted for the cover art and um, to figure out what I wanted to wear for the shoot. And like, there were so many things that I didn't realize were like into putting out a song. Um, so I think, yeah, I think the biggest thing was just like me navigating everything. Um, but I learned that I love um, like everything that goes into releasing music, like doing a Pinterest board for the cover art. And it's just so much more creative than I thought. Um, so I'm excited for the next one because I think I I'm um, I already went through it so it can even be better and um, I know more about what goes into it. That's good that you like you paid attention to what everybody else was doing. So then, you know, what's really happening, what's going on with with your stuff. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Um, yeah, I'm excited to kind of uh, navigate the next one because I, I, I'm, I'm learning from my mistakes before. So, um, yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations with Scary Cat. Uh, I feel like it's a perfect debut single. I'm looking forward to more music from you. And uh, as always, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.